next meeting, let's see if we can start at time. Because this uh, presentation might be a little bit shorter, and I have time to, to finish it. But the rest of presentations are going to be limited to a certain time. And if we start with the late, some of the companies are not going to be able to present your good practices. Okay, so... Uh, what we talk, what we're going to introduce you is the contents of what we submitted to the Spanish agency. Um, and that's what the, the, they approved. And uh, when the, the Erasmus Plus agency approves a project, uh, they force you to follow exactly all those activities that were accepted by them. So there is no room uh, to uh, invent or to change, uh, we have to do exactly what we were uh, accepted to do. And once we do what they want us to do, then you can do whatever you want. You are open and free to invent, to uh, improve. I, I want, I, it's not going to be FEMA, the, the entity that will cut your wings. But we will cut them if that those great ideas are not complemented by the content of the approved project. Okay? And this is extremely important to us. The project started as of November the 1st and will last during 30 months until April the 30th, 2024. During these first months, we should not do any uh, artistic activities. So, because we had to prepare some of the documents and uh, sign contracts, etc. So, we are not in delay. We are right at time to start the activities proposed by us to the Spanish agency. Um, these are the goals that. Uh, the uh, Spanish agency accept, accepted. This is a, a project in which we are sharing good practices with minors with different capacities. Okay? Um, it's not a project addressed to children with other capacities or with discapacities, which is a word you don't like. It's a project directed to all children and to uh, empower especially children with other capacities in our regular work. I think that's very important. We have also uh, the intention to create amateur companies uh, of children with different capacities uh, because we are, we are going to ask them to perform uh, uh, to the open public at least once uh, a year. So these companies do not have to be uh, companies of dance or theater or music. It can, you can choose. I mean, it's ab absolutely up to each one of you to decide the uh, artistic discipline in which the company will be working. It can be a mix of different, uh, of different uh, disciplines. We have to promote the improvement of the quality of uh, life you know, from these people with different capacities through these empowerments, as we were telling you. I'm going to send you the presentation at the end, so if you want, it's going to be easy for you to remember all those things we were saying. And finally, we will have to develop educational actions um, of uh, theoretical practical training with artists, educators. This is one of the, those examples of uh, training. And uh, in Spain at least, we have three annual trainings in which we always include schools with specific needs and inform them about the evolution of Musa in, in the whole stamp of, of, of Musa schools. We don't distinguish uh, schools with specific needs from other schools. The only difference might be the type of Musa sessions, but uh, we are in the same world. 
And that's what we are going to be asking you uh, to do also in your countries, if you have the support of Musa uh, um, uh, institutions. That's the case of Hungary. Musa Hungary organizes also, or Portugal, they organize uh, training actions with their um, artists and teachers, and we want you to include Emocionarte as an experience uh, to explain what we are doing in Emocionarte. The partners of the project, and that's something, as I was saying at the beginning, very interesting, are people from uh, very different countries regarding their educational uh, systems. We have three partners from Spain. These are partners, okay, official partners. Uh, the Fundación Yehudi Menos en España, the Consejería de Educación, the uh, go uh, Educational Regional Government of, of uh, Extremadura, and the University of Extremadura. But in our project in Spain, are going to be participating three schools with specific needs and a very wide range of artists belonging to the Yehudi Menuhin Foundation. In Portugal, we have two partners, the Asociação Yehudi Menuhin Portugal and the University of Evora. In Belgium, we've got Musa Belgium. In Italy, we have Assisi Sono Sacro with the collaboration of Ars Pace, so two institutions from the area of Assisi and Firenze in Florence. And two institutions in the area of Terni, which are La Sodezione La Pagina and La Sodezione Aistel. And uh, find, uh, in, in, sorry, in Hungary, we have, I'm going to read it for you, Musa Hungary, <laughs> uh, with the participation of the uh, government, the local government of Budapest. The school so, district, yeah. The educational district. Yeah. And in Germany, we have one partner, which is the Stiftung Kloster Eberbach, with the participation as collaborators of Musa Deutschland and the school, which is represented today here by its principal and its uh, manager. Um, Musa Schweiz, uh, Musa Switzerland, is also going to be participating in the project through a specific fund received by the Erasmus Plus agency Movetia, which is the equivalent to the Spanish agency SEPIE. Uh, we submitted the project to the SEPIE, which is our agency, and approved it, and that's why they are <coughs> paying well, the amount that they gave us to do the activities between the countries involved, as I was telling you before. But uh, in addition, Musa Schweiz uh, is going to be participating through extra funds from the Movetia agency, which means that there is going to be probably also a school with specific needs in Switzerland taking part in the project. And we are going to have an additional meeting, international meeting in Switzerland. Um, here are the schools that we mentioned <coughs> in the project that we're going to take part in it. Uh, uh, in the case of Spain, it's the, the schools Los Angeles, Proa, and Ponte de Leon, all of them in, a, in Extremadura. Um, in Portugal, it's the school Cruz da Picada, and that's why we have here uh, it's, uh, her manager. In Italy, in Terni, we were speaking about Benedetto Brin and Virgilio Alterrocca, and I don't know if they continue. We can change them. Yeah. We have the, we have the other other school that we have the contact, but uh, okay, also two other schools. Excellent. Okay. So, I mean, the inclusion of more schools is is of of course accepted, uh, as long as you can manage that uh, inclusion with your own budgets. What we cannot change is the budget. But we can in invite other schools to participate. This is the case of Melilla. Maybe you can put a school of Melilla. We won't be able to make a meeting in Melilla because the meeting is going to be in Extremadura. But I think it's a very interesting action of dissemination to already start working with more schools. 
La Sisi, we were talking about the school Serafico and San Antonio. We have to update on that, we have the Serafico no more. We have four schools, San Antonio, yes, inside La Sisi. Then we have Progetto Danza in Perugia, because we speak about dance. Then we have Academia of Attivis Uno Sacro. So inside our association, there is a Cesar Academia. And then we have another Academia in Fabiano. And so that means we have to, up, um, to update, I mean, to change, not Serafico, but we have three more schools in, uh, instead of Serafico. This is all going to be information for the uh, report of progress, uh, which will give us additional funds. Yes, and I will see. Eh, en, en la línea que está comentando Tony, de que lo importante también es diseminar, es por lo que hemos inven, eh, invitado a compañeros de centros específicos de, eh, de Asturias, de Murcia, eh, de Madrid y también de Ceuta y de Melilla que puedan eh, participar. Una cosa son los socios y otra que el resto pueda participar y beneficiarse. Un poco Okay, in that sense, we are including into the project people right now in this room from uh, Ceuta and Melilla, from uh, Madrid, from Extrema, from uh, sorry, uh, Murcia, uh, and from Asturias, uh, because we uh, also want to disseminate the project a, as much as possible. We really would like to make this a star project of the Spanish agency. Regarding Hungary, uh, we talked about two schools, uh, right? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if these are the same schools. We they changed. are the same, and we are thinking of one more. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. One in Budapest and one in the south west, the uh, southeast of Hungary. Okay, excellent. And in the case of Germany, we're speaking about the Sonnenberg Schule. I don't know. If we have two schools, plus a, maybe a third school. This school that is now present at this meeting today is the Fürderschule St. Martin Züngenheim in the, in the South Eifel. Um, and the Sonnenberg Schule is actually down by Costa Eberna. So um, Dana said, we'll do it. So we're, and there might be a third. So. Take it just on into account that these are the schools we said were going to be right. working with us. And, but we can change it. That's only information. And we still don't know the name of the Swiss school participating in the project. Okay, this is the logo uh, that we designed for the project. We already explained the reason for the cloud, I think, during the last meeting. Um, and there's not, uh, the only important thing to know is that any action taken during the life of the project that does not include the global market is not an action of the project. Uh, any action that are, is financed by any other uh, entity but accepts the inclusion of the market logo uh, is perfectly valid. Uh, so uh, having the logo of the market does not mean that the activity has been paid by the emocionante budget. It only means that it is a part of the emocionante exchange of good practices. So we encourage you and invite you to uh, stamp that logo not only on any project, but also on your front end. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and these are the locations of the cities participating in the project. And as you see, it's a very heterogeneous project, including very different types of countries with very, very different educational systems. But at the end, uh, we realize that uh, even though our systems are extremely different and we recognize and accept it, the children working with us are children that could be working in any other of the schools participating in the project. I don't see any difference between the school in Germany represented by, by UTA and the school in Portugal represented by Maria Jose or any of the schools represented by the Spanish directors. You follow the same um, structure regarding artistic activities. So um, that's why there is, 
you're very, we are very different, but at the same time, we are very similar. And that's why the exchange of good practices is going to be very, very useful. Um, it was important to define uh, to the Spanish agency uh, the characteristics of the schools participating in our project. And that's what we said. Uh, uh, that, uh, that well, these are the characteristics that define, the, in theory, the schools participating in the project. If this is not your school, you can participate, of course, but I'm telling you. I don't want to know. <laughs> I want you to know that this is the type of school that has to participate in the in, in fact, it, it represents all of your schools. <laughs> and there's a very complicated part when formulating a, 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 a European project. And uh, that complication comes from the uh, networking that affects the next three years of collaboration with, between us. Uh, it, it, it is very complicated when you have one project, but FEMA is right now coordinating five international projects. And the structure of FEMA coordinating five international projects is extremely big, which is Annabella and myself. So make our lives easy. <laughs> this is the first request. We, need, uh, we want to enjoy uh, the uh, uh, implementation of an international project. Once the projects be become a, pr a problem for our, for our lives, personal lives, then what you are, I mean, we get uh, disappointed and, and we lose uh, the faith in these type of projects. That's why the first thing we do always is to choose one, maximum two uh, partners in each country, and these are the partners with whom we have the relationship. We don't want to have a relationship with all the partners. We cannot have it. Uh, and uh, in, in this case, it's going to be I stand and Assisi Sono Sacro. In, in their case, it's two of them, but we have a personal and professional contact for years, so it's it's like not having work. You know, it's going to be straightforward. Same is with Muse Hungary. They are not partners of the project, but we signed a contract with them in order to continue the collaboration with them. Uh, uh, well, you are partners of the project, sorry. And it, that's the case in, in Portugal. It's, we are not going to be speaking with the Universidad de Diabora. We're going to be speaking with uh, Muse Portugal, which is our counterpart. And these are the list of partners with whom we're going to have the direct relationship. Um, of course, in Spain, we will have the relationship because you are our collaborators. Okay. Um, this is, to me, the, the funniest part of the project, uh, which is, why are you not paying us? And uh, uh, we love not to pay, uh, which means that the first thing we did was to create bilateral agreements with each partner of the project, partner, not collaborator. Uh, we still did not receive three of those bilateral agreements. I'm not going to say who are the partners because I don't want to embarrass them, but um, it's four months since we started the project and three entities still didn't have time to sign a contract, um, which is sad, I mean. Um, once we sign all the contracts, you will receive the first 40% of the uh, budget allocation to each of your countries. And once you justify uh, all the activities until the um, reception of the second 40%, then you will get farther money. If you don't justify the activities, we will not give you more money because we are only increasing the problem. You are getting more money and you will forget about justifying the next 40%. The final 40% will be paid once the final report is approved. So it will be after uh, the project uh, finished. Um, so take that into account because there is going to be a need to finance 
by uh, your own structures that 25% taking into account that we will reimburse it as soon as the project gets approved. Um, the uh, uh, type of information that we're requesting for you, it's quite easy. We're talking about certificates to prove the expenses and the payments, which is obvious. All the requested pedagogical and dissemination documents. Uh, Mariano spoke about dissemination a few minutes ago. Uh, he didn't, uh, I didn't feel that he was pressed, uh, he, he included pressure on his conversation. For us, dissemination is key. <coughs> A project does not exist if we don't show and prove that it existed. You can do whatever you want in life, but if you don't sell it, nobody will buy it. So um, this is a question of funds, not a question of activities. And as Annabelle says many times, we have to be activists, but activists in the sense of doing activities that are shown, not saying that we are doing activities. And finally, we will ask you to complete and upload all the documents on the website that we have been creating during these last uh, weeks and months. So the website uh, is already available. Professor Manuel, uh, one of our colleagues, will tell you tomorrow uh, all the characteristics of the website, how to upload the documents. He will give you a, a one-hour speech about websites. Okay. And uh, this is the circle of activities that uh, was accepted by the Spanish agency. We are talking about, of course, workshops with uh, children with other capacities, because this is the um, common sign uh, of all our uh, entities. We do music, most of us, and we want to continue doing music. And but we didn't say to the agency that we were going to do music <coughs> workshops or artistic workshops because they don't finance artistic workshops. That's something internal uh, that depends on us. Uh, what we are going to do, according to the Spanish agency, are artistic shows. And in each country, we expect you to do three shows during the life of the project. Okay? In order to do those three shows, you need to previously do workshops, of course, to prepare them. The way you decide how to prepare the shows, it's up to you. Uh, each country decides by themselves how to implement those shows. But the shows must be a reality at the end of the project, because if we don't have at least three shows per country, we don't uh, fulfill the needs and requirements of our agents. Okay. Afterwards, we can talk about what do you mean by show. But uh, think about uh, the idea. Of show. There are going to be also uh, uh, international meetings to exchange the good the good practices. There is going to be a meeting in Assisi Terni, one, a meeting in Germany, a meeting in uh, Belgium, a meeting in Extremadura. We still don't know where. The meeting in Hungary, uh, Budapest probably, and the meeting in Ebola. These are the official meetings of the project. Okay. During those meetings, what, uh, if possible, it would be great to see the show or one of the shows that you created during the life of the project. But you don't have to necessarily show us the show. You can also show us how you are preparing the show or how you prepared it and show us uh, a video of the show together with activities prior and post show. It's again up to you the content of the uh, uh, activity of good practices. What is important is that the teachers and this teachers and artists in this room are very, very interested in learning from experiences in other countries. I'm sure about that. And uh, during those meetings, it is very, very important if your artists show us how you're working with your children. It would be also very interesting if you invite artists from other countries to work with your children. I think
think it would be great if Eva Maria does a workshop in, in Belgium or in Extremadura, because it would be also interesting for your children to react to another type of artist, taking into account that we're speaking about artists that have pedagogical experience with children with other capacities, of course. But take that into account, but because I think it's really interesting. Uh, and of course, what you're seeing right now are activities, activities, activities that have to be downloaded on the YouTube channel and on the website. The YouTube channel is an open channel. So we need uh, uh, videos that include uh, permissions to upload those videos on open websites like uh, YouTube. The YouTube channel is going to be, at the end of the life of the project, a great tool to see the work we were doing during 30 months in different countries. I think there's nothing better than that uh, YouTube channel to uh, even to use it as a tool of dissemination in your own national in, uh, networks in order to look for funds from other uh, private or public entities because uh, if you see what you're doing, you will be able to, to, to sell it in a much easier way. The website is also an open site, but the website is more directed to news about what you're doing. It works like a newspaper, while the, the YouTube channel is working more like a film movies uh, disseminator. Okay? Jose Manuel will explain that to you tomorrow. Other training of emotional techniques with teachers and artists. That's an activity that can be done in two different ways. During the transnational meetings, teachers and artists can be trained in uh, the methodologies of teachers and artists from other countries. So it's something that you can relate. But you can also use your own national uh, training structures to promote emocionarte and to show how emocionarte's methodology is being implemented in different schools around Europe. And finally, uh, but most important, if we don't have audiovisual materials of those shows, we won't be able to prove the implementation of the shows. So, uh, each show, so three shows, will have to make a 10 to 5 minutes video uh, of the, let's say, making of final product. Uh, I think uh, I sent to some of you a link uh, of a, an experience that we did with Pedro Cruz, uh, uh, the making of uh, some videos. And these were specific videos to commemorate the 100th birthday of the Huli Menohu's birth month, of course, birth. Because if, if, if not, it would be birthday. <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, but it helped to understand the structure of what we are trying to, to ask you for. Okay? Well, if, I think there are no need for questions because I'm explaining myself very easily. <laughs> I've got a grandma. <laughs> so, uh, when we are talking about transnational meetings, you might ask, how do I organize a transnational meeting? And this is a proposal of transnational meeting. It's a proposal. Please don't copy and paste it because you don't need to. It's just a proposal. So give me an idea. It's always very interesting to start with an institutional reception. We've got that because we have the Consejería de Educación with us. But most of you don't have an institutional uh, entity supporting the implementation of your project. So uh, when you start with an institutional reception, you are uh, selling the project already to um, people who might be interested in future funding uh, in, future fi uh, in, in, in the future financing of the project in your schools. We invite you to visit the schools that are participating in the project. You can stay for an hour, two hours, 
you can share with the children a workshop. You can invite other artists to do the workshop with the children. It's up to you. Uh, we can visit the artistic sessions, the rehearsals, or the shows, the actual shows that will be implemented. So it doesn't have to be the show. It can be any part uh, of the show. And we can invite people to exchange good practices because we are asked to exchange good practices uh, at adult uh, level, between artists, teachers, etc. And during the day two, because the meeting always takes place during two days, one day and a half, you see, it ends at 15 hours of the second day. And you know, we can uh, show more detailed practical cases of your local activities, again, workshops. We have to do yes or yes, this is not negotiable. The evaluation of the meeting with some evaluation forms that we are going to share with you. We have to sign, and this is not negotiable, the certificates of attendance. And we must have a list of participants. The wider, the better. If the janitor comes in and wants to sign the list of participants, he's very welcome to sign it. Any person who wants to be, who participate for a minute in the project is invited to sign it. Yes, it's, po it's possible to do a uh, three day, because uh, we have two day for- And, and uh, 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 Transnational meetings should take place maybe on a Saturday or Sunday because people are not able to travel for a whole week. So take that only in your time. Yes, what I, was, I think what he's asking too, and I would have asked too, is um, we are we have guests that come and we have our meeting, and many people would like to know more about the town. And, and 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 connect more together and it also builds good practices with each other and having that extra half a day or not an extra night let's let, let, let me say you know after the meeting is done that one could do maybe um i don't know a visit somewhere or something you know together to end the whole project because when you come out of these meetings, your mind is so full of so many experiences that you would like to share with each other more afterwards. Okay, we have 575 euros per person traveling right. to the meeting. If you manage to organize a great meeting of five days with visits to Guys, don't behave like children. I don't care. Okay, people, listen. Thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's all right. Just a minute. Sorry. I have one thing. If we find sponsors to do this extra day or half a day, then it's okay to. Yeah. Right. It's a, a matter of costs. Of everything in life. Right. Even if it's a convent. Even if it's a convent, mm -hmm. there is only one person who wants to go to a convent in here who might burn it up. No, but you know, if, uh, we are in the, in the city of San Francisco, San Francisco, San Francisco. So it's the dual convent that has a So uh, it can be a convent. Uh, these are, and this is important, uh, please. I give you at the end time to speak between you in order to, okay, because there's a limited time. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the number of people traveling from one country to the other. And this is important to know for two reasons. First, because you might need to know how many people are traveling from my own organization to other countries. And, uh, so it's going to be, for example, in the case of Spain, the most complicated because we are four partners, three partners, there are going to be four people in Brussels, four people in, uh, sorry, six people in Paris, six people in Brussels. Only three people financed by the agency 
in Evora because the distance between Extremadura and Evora is so little that they didn't want us to finance seven people. It didn't, it didn't make any sense. And then six people in Ebaba or wherever you organize it in Germany, and six people in Budapest. Each person costs 575 euros. If we save money, we can dedicate that money to additional music activities. So that's not a problem. We can save the money. If we pay more than expected, don't ask us for the difference. It's your fault and your decision. And the other important thing is to know how many people are coming to my meeting. So in my break, we were expecting 13 people, and it's more than those because we were able to finance the difference with additional funds of the foundation. But 12 international people, plus the Spanish ones, will be visiting Extremadura. 15 will be in Perni, 18 in Brussels, 12 in Evora, plus the Spanish uh, team, 17 in Ebaba, and 17 in Budapest. Okay, so that's the number of people you might be expecting. And uh, what does those 575 euros include? Okay, when we are saying one person goes to, let's say, where did I put the example? To Budapest. I go to Budapest. And I have 575 euros to pay for what? Okay, for the trip to destination, of course. Lunches at destination. Lunch, dinners at destinations, breakfast at destinations, hotel, and then for local transport, never for taxis, and to uh, the return trip. What does it not include? Any uh, additional nights of hotel if not explained before, or the costs of any, uh, 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 as we said, uh, transportations that were not accepted prior to the organization of the meeting. Don't take freely a taxi and expect uh, the Spanish agency to pay for it. It won't be the case. Don't drink wine or beer uh, while you're having a, an excellent lunch of pasta in Terni because the Spanish agency is not going to pay a bill that includes wine or beer. I mean, if you want to drink wine, ask for a second bill. If you send me a bill with wine in it, although it's only one beer with 80 plates of pasta, the uh, invoice is not going to be accepted. It's nothing that has to do with us. I personally don't drink, but it has to be, do with our agency. Okay, so take that into account. I I got okay. Listen for all uh okay. Expected activities that have been um approved by the Spanish agency. And this is again very important. This is what we said we were going to do, and this is what they approved. The first activity has been done, already done, which is that prior to the start of the project, we decided to present the project to the central administration, school, etc. And that's something you've done at the internal level, because if not, we were not going to be here together uh, with the rest of uh, participating schools and participating collaborators. It is important to, to take that into account. Any collaborator of the project has to be informed. We don't need to, to sign any contracts, but it's important to inform the Spanish agency all the list of entities that participated in the project. Activity one, which is in each country and in each participating city, the creation of the teams that will implement the project. In this case, we're talking about who are the artists involved in the project, who is going to be coordinating the project in Germany, uh, who are the, I don't know, the people involved in the creation of the shows, and who are the people involved in the taping. 
uh, of the project because without uh, audiovisual materials, the project will not exist. <coughs> so, as a photograph, the show will be the person, and uh, you, you see here a camera. Uh, there will always be a camera in any emocionate activity that we implement in Spain. So we expect you to do the same. Activity two, the design of the website with the logo, and uh, uh, the, the website will be available in English and Spanish. No sé si Anabel, si tenemos la vuelta en más idiomas, será solo en inglés y en español, ¿verdad? Ok, only Spanish and English. You can write in Spanish, you can write in English. Point. You can write in Portuguese if you want to, but nobody will uh, accept the text. So, translate it into Spanish. Google is doing a great job nowadays. So, use the translators. Most of the people don't read the news, uh, but they see that the news is in Spanish. So, in todo caso, eh, incluir un plugin en portugués no se podría hacer, pero todos los textos que están en la web alguien los tendría que traducir eh, al húngaro o al portugués. Y entonces el, el plugin que lo traduce más o menos, podríamos verlo. Y a lo mejor algún voluntario podemos enviar. This is a great idea of Anabel, but I prefer you to concentrate on the activity, which is activity three, design of the show concert. And I will use the word concert because it can be a musical event. Okay? You have to design it. There has to be some production, choreography, scenography, <coughs> music, whatever you want. Take into account that we are going to see that you did it because of two different reasons. The making up, the making of video, uh, probably the visit of the international team during that uh, uh, show, and third, which is very important to us, the uh, agenda, uh, the planning of, of the activity. So um, that's something the agency is going to be asking us for. And there are, uh, or as I told you before, workshops 144 and 440 hours of uh, workshops to create those uh, shows. We uh, split the number of hours uh, on an even way between schools. There's the Spanish schools do not receive more hours than the Italian schools or the German schools. We decided to give each of us the same number of hours and based on those hours, you decide how to implement the project. So if a project like the one in Perni and Assisi involves seven schools, it's not because they got more money, it's because they were more efficient, let's say it this way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, wait, I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> not yet. Uh, uh, activity four, uh, this is what I was saying before about uh, training activities with adults, with teachers, with uh, um, uh, artists. It's very important that all uh, MUSE organizations involved in the project uh, use their training uh, platforms to promote emocionate uh, and include in those training actions uh, training activities directed to children with other capacities in order to normalize also the work with any type of child uh, as a MUSE organization. Okay? Those without MUSE organizations, which is the case of Italy, you will find out the solution. But it's not a must in your case. And uh, the next thing, the, the six shows, it's important to know, are open to the public. So you cannot do the show at school levels from 11 to 12. Uh, restricted to people because of COVID, you could not show it to anyone. And it can be the, sh the same show performed three times, or you can do three different shows. Uh, we, we don't care about that. You can improve it as time goes by, but it can be the same structure of shows that gets repeated. And the 18 uh, uh, representations, six by uh, the, uh, those the six, 
six shows three times in the view of these 18 representations. They can therefore be replicated in different spaces of the participating municipalities. We will speak surely, and I will speak with Francisco, to see if we can replicate the experience uh, and not do only three shows, but six, because the uh, government, regional government considers it to be an interesting experience. But it's up to them in that case. But it's our, it's our obligation to, to go and speak with our uh, national entities of education involved in each of our municipalities and share with them the idea because it would be a great activity of dissemination. Okay, um, let's go on. Activity uh, six, these were the uh, international coordination meetings, uh, which were already explained. And, uh, okay, this is a little, s you can speak now, because this is not very interesting. <laughs> and there is, uh, of course, a <laughs> national response board for country. As I was saying at the beginning, to me and to Annabelle, it's very important to have just one person of reference in each municipality. It complicates our life. If I have to speak in Portugal with Isabel, with Leonor, with Rui, uh, and then with Maria Jose, with the artist, and you see what I mean, no? Uh, we don't have the time, honestly, to, to be full-time dedicated to international projects. It would be lovely for us, but I don't want to hang up the phone because I don't have time. So I prefer to be as efficient as possible and to give you as much independence as you deserve, because this is not at all a project that has to be uh, coordinated with strong fist by the Fundación Jujuy en España. Uh, we created the uh, team based on trust on the work that each one of you is doing at national level. So we don't need to follow up any of your activities. We, of course, will be sharing your doubts and we will ask you for hours. But um, uh, whatever happens in Ejaba is uh, decided by people in Ejaba. I, I mean, what can I say? Nothing, honestly, nothing. Okay. Um, this is the structure of the budget, and which is common to all of us. For the organization of the transnational meeting, each uh, city organizing the meeting receives 2,000 euros. Okay. And this is for the uh, renting of the spaces. We are not talking about food because food is paid by the people traveling. But if you want us, if you want to invite the people for a meal or for a dinner, it's very, it's nice because it helps people to be together. Okay? But it's basically to organize the meeting. You don't have to spend all the money in the organization of the meeting. If you save money, it's better for you because we, we can do more uh, Muse activities with your children. The agency accepts uh, those exchanges of budgets as long as they are explained. So if you do, let's say, if you save 500 euros and you're able to do 10 additional Muse sessions, you have to show us that you did 10 additional Muse sessions, okay? With the budget of the Spanish agency. For the organization of the Emocionate shows, you have 3,000 euros. Okay? And then, to travel to each of the different countries, you have, as I told you, 575 euros per person. And that's all. Now, you're invited for the next uh, 15 minutes to ask me as many questions as you want. <laughs> Lo que hemos presentado es el esqueleto. 
Algunos a lo mejor pensaban que querían más cosas. Eh, otros que quieren otras cosas. Pero a partir de aquí hay que ponerle los músculos, la piel y hay que vestirlo. So some people wanted more things, other people wanted different things, but from this stage you have to add the muscle, the skeleton and the skin. Cada vez que uno da una idea eh, implica un trabajo que alguien tiene que hacer. Each time someone throws an idea, that means work that someone has to be responsible for. Nosotros aplaudimos las ideas si viene acompañado de yo colaboro para hacerlo. Si no, vamos a decir ideas no. We welcome every idea as long as you say, okay, I will be in charge of doing it. Otherwise, please just keep to yourself. Eh, y luego, otro segundo punto importante. Eh, en el proyecto, nosotros pedimos muchas cosas y era un proyecto de 400.000 euros. Uh, we had a project of 400,000 euros with many things. Pero luego ellos valoraron unas acciones y un presupuesto. But then they uh, validated some actions and some budget. Eh, si somos capaces de trabajar en red, podemos optimizar con otros recursos que tengamos para hacer más cosas. If we can work in a network, we can optimize resources so that we can make other things. Eh, eso es un reto de imaginación. Luego os contaremos algunas cosas que hemos pensado ya que podemos hacer en España, por ejemplo. That is a chance for your imagination. Um, later on we will be speaking about certain things that we have already thought about doing here in Spain. But you can let us know what you're planning to do. Some countries might have already planned uh, the whole project in advance, and that's great. That would, would be a, an excellent presentation because you will be able, other countries will be able to get information and improve their own national uh, uh, projects. Uh, others, like Germany, I know, they have very little information to share with us. It's fine, there's no problem. As long as we know what they, uh, what are their concerns, or maybe their restrictions, or maybe their, their will or and ideas, it's great. It's a brainstorming right now. We just want to know what is what can be done in Germany during the Emotionate project, even though it's different to the things you're going to afterwards to do. It's today what you think you can do. Uh, and uh, during the next uh, day, we have this evening the presentation of Spain and uh, Italy. We have um, Spain and Italy from 4.30 to 6. Okay, one and a half hour. Please. We have one and a half hour. Um, I know that Italy has two projects. And I know you like to do many things. And we have the Consejería de Educación, which is extremely um, active in education with children with special needs. So he has a lot of information. <laughs> and we have Pedro with our activities. Well, it, it's important if you please be here at 4.30. Not be here at 4.30, be here before 4.30 so that we can start at 4.30. Yes. Okay, in fact, what I was going to say. In any case, if we don't have the time and we don't finish, 
We have afterwards from 6.30 to 8, the presentation of Hungary and Germany. It's one and a half hour, Germany might be a little bit shorter, Hungary too. So if we finish, we can finish in advance and we can go away as soon as possible. If not, we have the time to finish the Spanish and Italian presentation. And finally, tomorrow morning, from 9 till 10.30, we have the presentations of Portugal and Belgium. Again, one and a half hour. And I invite you, of course, because my presentation is a much theoretical one. So questions, I understand there are not many, because what can I ask if I didn't start the project? But between you, we have a lot of information to share. So I invite you to ask and to participate during the meetings and the next hours. Okay, and just a little bit of 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 a little con otras capacidades, eh, no pensemos en cómo es en España o cómo es en nuestra comunidad, cómo es en Europa. Lo primero que tenemos que hacer es identificar cómo es en cada sitio. Es que estamos todavía ahí, por eso digo que estamos en los huesecitos. Want to unify everything because at the moment we only have the skeleton. We are at the, at the baby steps. We have. We are at the beginning of the process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Claro. Eh, por lo tanto es lo que está escrito es el esqueleto. Ahora tendremos que adaptarlo a cada país, cada centro y cada realidad. No demos nada por seguro. Porque estamos hablando de modelos muy diferentes de trabajar la educación inclusiva. So, at the moment, as we say, we only have the skeleton, and then we will have to adapt that to each country, to each center, and to each different reality. And uh, we have to. I forgot. Y que cada uno tenemos modelos diferentes de trabajar. Because we all have different models to work with. Me viene muy bien y aprovecho a presentaros a José Chulinaza, que eh, eres profesor de la universidad y ahora nos acompañará, que siempre hablas eh, cuando tienes una persona, la, es la misma persona cuando es un bebé que cuando es mayor o adulto o un anciano, pero eh, es ese ser o esa alma es distinto cuando es un bebé cuando y tendremos que transitar por todos esos espacios. So we have now Dr. Andrés, ¿no? El Linaza. Linaza, who's going to talk to us because he says that a person is always the same person regardless of if it's a baby or if it's a grown up um, is the same person through the different stages. Cuando hemos llegado aquí, cada uno teníamos un bebé que se llama Emocionarte, que ya habíamos vestido a nuestra manera. At the beginning, when we arrived here, we had a baby called Emocionarte, and that was adapted to each one of us in a different way. Todos nos hemos sentido papás y mamás de ese bebé. <laughs> we have all felt like daddy and mommy from this baby. Y le vamos a generar un conflicto psicológico muy fuerte. Very, uh, very heavy mental conflict. Por eso en la exposición que cada país hagamos y cada entidad tenemos que ir contando qué es lo que pensamos cada uno y al final consensuaremos una parte común. So in each exhibition of each country we will have to show what we think of this baby and in the end we will take everything from each country and make one unity. Que tiene que estar en consonancia con el proyecto y con lo que son los objetivos y las actividades del proyecto. 
that have to be according to the rules of the project and the goals of the project. For example, when we talk about making a spectacle, a artistic work with children, some say, ah, I'm going to work with special children of education. And no, we're going to work with special children of education, with children who are not, maybe we're going to work with adults, Tal, eh, eh, y tenemos que armonizar como yo trabajo en mi entidad, como otros trabajan y eh, hacer una, nuevas propuestas dentro del proyecto. So we will have to, sorry, we will have to decide. Uh, someone might say, I want to make a show with only special need children, but then the other people will say, no, we have to also work with adults and we have to work with uh, children without disabilities. So we have to harmonize, make some harmony of the whole project. Yes, that's the part of the whole <coughs> the project. Does, it won't be emocionarte if emocionarte includes only children with uh, disabilities. I don't like the word, but uh, emocionarte makes sense only if those companies include, these are mixed companies of children with different capacities, mm -hmm. with and without disabilities. Okay, please. It doesn't have to be um, very Those things, okay, it can be others. I mean, you don't have more children. If you are working in a school of specific needs, which does not have additional children without, let, let me use it, no, without disabilities, those without disabilities can be the teachers, can be the parents, can be the artists, can be any other adult, but it has to be mixed, right? If not, we don't empower the guys. For example, yo viendo ahora los compañeros de Madrid, de Asturias, de Murcia, y de donde vamos a sacar dinero para armar todo esto, claro. No hay problema porque tenemos unas plataformas virtuales, YouTube, y podemos explorar por ahí eh, un trabajo que la página web lo podría soportar. Digo una idea, es, bueno, vamos a ver cómo lo vamos a hacer, pero yo puedo poner en, en, en común, eh, un poco Pedro, como lo que hiciste tú de esa gran coreografía durante el estado de alarma. Mm -hmm. eh, bien. So we can um, unify, for example see what Madrid, Asturias and Murcia, the different Spanish regions have been doing to get funding. Uh, we could use the Zoom, the virtual platform, to, to recover this information. Like for example, Pedro was doing during the lockdown, he was uh, creating a choreography. O podemos hacer eh, una experiencia que veíamos anoche con el magazine de Melilla del falso directo. Or we can see last night we saw a video of um, our partner in Melilla where they did a false live um, streaming. It was um, a different experience. Um, hicimos un espectáculo en Melilla con niños que consistía en un magazine de noticias. Pero cuando se hace un falso directo, yo ya lo he grabado en Asturias, yo ya lo he grabado en Madrid, ya lo he grabado en Murcia y Cuando lo hago en Extremadura, meto los vídeos que ya tengo hecho. It was a, a fake live streaming, meaning that that was previously <coughs> recorded in the different regions, and then it was all streamed at once uh, in Extremadura, but pretending that it was live. Bueno, son algunas ideas que es muy complicado ahora y que podemos ir explorando, ¿no? It's very complicated ideas right now to explore, but uh, it will be interesting to see. This is why I, we started by saying, you can do whatever you want once you do what you have to do, and if you pay for it. So if Anabel has great ideas for Spain, she will have to pay for it. But the Mocionarte is not going to pay for it because you don't have the money for it.